All across the world on wildworld.co.za. The ladies' man, El Tito, in the building. <laughs> that time he smells so fresh. He huh? looks so fresh. Oh, hmm? God, you guys are making me shy. Pulled up with that <laughs> Oh, <laughs> man, you guys, stop <laughs> it. Coming stop in it, nice. guys. Who said hip hop got no guano, <laughs> man? Huh? You good. Hey, man, I'm in great, great, great spirits, man. Mm. Um, you know what I mean? This like, is musically, personal life. Everything, I think. You know, like, um, just I'm just in a great spirit right mm. now. Uh, musically, personally, um, just the vibes. Everything is just positive around El Tito right now. Let's talk El Tito, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, 2016, you didn't give us much, you know? You, mm-hmm. get, you gave us... Uh, when was it? When was it last year, right? I was, like, the end of 2015. That's yeah. crazy, because that yeah. joint was so powerful and so strong Yo, that the impact... Time. Even ran into 2016. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And now you're back with with AKA Young on a joint produced by Gemini Major. Before we even talk about that, where are you musically mindset? Uh, musically mindset. I'm about to drop an album next next two months, three months. July. I'm about to drop an album. I haven't dropped the album in like 20 since 2013. So we almost reaching four years. I haven't mm-hmm. dropped the album. Um, I've been cooking up, man. I'm in the studio. I mean, we. I think I'm 95 percent done right now. Um, this is like the official first single for the album is nice. Tico and then um, people should look forward to the album man I think it's uh, I put in like so much work into the album I yeah. think it's like really dope and I finally got it to where I want it to be uh, sonically and everything else yeah on the album who did you work with is there anybody new that you tried out with and new uh, sounds that you I'm always with? working with new producers um, and I definitely have new artists like um, I started a label called Legacy Records mm-hmm. and uh, I got the whole camp in there. Shout out to my homie Don. Shout out to Fee Fresh. Shout out to Casa. Yeah, shout out to the whole camp. Shout out to Tebow. So yeah, we in the building, man. You know, becoming mm-hmm. a boss. You know, we, we see we see a couple of rappers going that route. You know, like starting your own camp, a no movement. You got a couple of cats that jump on the stable, and and it's an El Tito label. How, how hard is it? You know, to to get it off the ground because as an artist solidified as yourself, one would assume that yo man, El Tito just calls any rapper, any producer in the game. It happens. Quick, quick. Yeah, man, nothing is easy, especially with me, man. Uh, I'm an independent artist, people uh, who are not aware. Um, from the moment I got in the game, I've been independent. So I've been doing everything myself from from the ground. So it becomes a little bit more difficult. I have to be hands-on mm. with everything that I do. There's no big record label doing this for me, doing that for me. So everything that happens is like gener- uh, like like generally love from the people. So mm. I, I really appreciate it, man. And uh, yeah, so I got to learn the game because I'm hands-on with everything that I do. So that's why I feel with the camp, we're going to be able to move doper and the team is going to be bigger this year. So like with the album, I also plan to add more things that will like bring the machine more alive, basically. Mm. Yeah. So you've never had that, you know, that no. urge to be like maybe let me go to Mabala or let nah. me go never <laughs> nah. it was always just you know what nah. I'm staying solo and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to be independent through and through and I'm going to see it through I've learned uh, from like the very beginning as a as a young kid I, like um, I was taught about like ownership and to be your own boss and whatever so I've always wanted to do that from the beginning as I, when I got into the game I never wanted to be signed by anybody mm. so I guess man like I, I don't have a problem with people who are signed I think we all take different roles in this life thing Absolutely. you know what I'm saying so just do what works for you and um, for me like I said like ever since I was a young and I was just being taught to like yo be your own boss, run your own label, do things your own way. So that's why I took that that route, basically. We got El Tito in the building. We're about to spin that tune. I'm sure you're like, yeah, 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 Sabi. I- I'm loving the conversation, but just play the song, damn it. It's coming. Mm-hmm. Now, w- when you've had a tiff with a homie at, at some point in time, making conversations or trying to create a relationship is never the easiest of things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How did this start did you reach out to Forbes or Forbes reached out to you for the project to actually happen look man like what people actually get like like me and AKA's beef was like something like really really serious like it wasn't like yeah. yo let's 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 do this for hip hop yeah. like to be controversial I mean like guns were involved like fights were involved it was like a serious 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 uh, fight so yeah. um for for this thing for me for me and him to solve this thing it, it couldn't just happen instantly like yo like let it be done or whatever mm. so it had to be gradual you know like and i mean throughout the years 
we saw each other in sports or whatever so there was there was always been mutual respect so it just had to be us to get over whatever that was going on to be able to move on to the music so mm. i i think we established a bit of a friendship before we even got to to the music part you know mm. so um yeah man like we obviously when the violence and everything else happened it was like yo we gotta stop All we right. gotta stop this and um yeah man like i said we build we build a, a relationship and then we got to the point where we felt like we were gonna do actually drop a song like three years ago but yeah. we like we felt like the spirit was not right for the song so like if you listen to this song no one is trying to do a, too much or whatever it's just a beautiful song man all right you know what yeah. let me spin this song i'm gonna hold on to tito because it, it, it's a big thing i don't think you understand how massive it is that tito and aka made a song it gives us hope that one day we'll see rappers that have beefed once upon a time or artists that have beefed come together great way to kickstart 2017 there you go gp if you got any questions for tito hit us up right now it is at yfm hashtag the best drive produced by gemini major young is also on let's Woo! go been sipping all night in my section. You gon' see the starlight. Now you under pressure, too overprotected. She gon' love me long time. Don't you see the necklace? It's a different texture. Now I'm gon' need protection. It's not every day you got tea though. This is Jadena. Make a phone call right now. Okay. What's up, what's up, y'all? This is Jadena, aka the Classic Man. Jadena, aka the Classic Man. I want you to call into the best drive right now. 011-772-0992. All right, Chase, let's go. What you got for Tito, boy? Hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, great. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not boy. Now, let me speak to Tito real quick. Yeah, hit him up. Tito. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me, um, I want to ask you a question. When are we going to see the visuals to this thing, man? This I, thing is you, a problem. <laughs> you guys are so demanding. Guys, the song I has been you. out. Oh, no. The song hasn't been out for a full <laughs> day. Oh, Not no, even a full I day. Mahog, I was with uh, Rich Mahog. I think it was sometime last week. He, he bumped me the tune. And I was yeah. like, I'm funny. This thing is a problem. Shout out to Rich Mahog. Yeah, he was bumping me. So I've been waiting patiently to, for you to drop the song. Now can we have the video? Please? Okay, now that you say that, I'm going to make sure within two weeks we shut the video. Yeah, How about that? Yeah, sure, sure, Vana. Nice one. There's one that comes through from Ramangwa who says, I've got one question for Tito. Which record label do you belong to? Uh, I belong to my independent record label myself. Legacy Rec is holla at me. Dog, you mean like if someone had to say, yo, here's 20 milli right now. I'm good, bro. <laughs> Like, people don't understand the business. Like, that's for now. Mm. You need to give back that money. Everything you see me with, I own it. I own everything that you see me with. Yo, hey. this, this boss Tito said off A is right. Yo, we're buying houses and cars now. So what we need them for? Hey, man. <laughs> Guys, let me not make it. Record labels are dope for artists or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking a different route. I'm an mm. entrepreneur and I'm a boss. I'm just doing it my own way. My Richie. Yo, Richie. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Someone, Aye. someone got the flu over there. <laughs> uh, scanning through on Twitter, there's one from Papa who says, "Yo, please ask Tito what happened to the track. My click, uh, why wasn't it pushed?" Hey man, like uh, basically this year we're just gonna give people a lot of music, man. We're not gonna hold on to music. I usually drop like two songs in one year or one song or whatever. Mm. This year I'm gonna give you guys like five songs, like six and an album, and so it's gonna be a lot of singles, albums. So we're not gonna hold on to anything. We're just gonna keep dropping music on people, basically. Right. Especially me, I haven't been dropping a lot of music. All right, there you have it. The album is gonna drop in 2017. Be on the lookout. He said he hasn't dropped the project since 2013, but he did offer some singles, and we've been seeing him do his thing. Look out for the visuals. This said to be epic if people want to follow you twitter instagram what's the feed uh follow me um on all platforms basically twitter instagram facebook at l underscore t i d o if you don't know what underscore is it's that dash at the bottom da, da. <laughs> so um besides that i know everybody listening shout out to um tabo shout out to tiamo shout out to aka shout out to yanga shout out to uh gemini for producing the beautiful track you can get the song right now on itunes get the song on itunes tico by el tito featuring aka yanga and gemini shout out to everybody for the love man kill it all right when the album is ready can we do a listening session live on the radio please let's do it all right told you the cs sounds what's that that's el tito gp
Shout out to you, man. If it's streaming on wildworld.co.za. We're getting closer to shut up. So if there's any person who's just been a nuisance today, you like it. Call us up right now. Let's go. I just put an eight in a leader. Throw some Jolly Rancher in, make it sweeter. Versace in my clothes, I wear the white hope. Once you snorting three lines like a deed. Got a black girl rolling out Molly. Got a white chick on us horn. 